This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. Beautiful afternoon at Williams Stadium for the annual Liberty Spring football game. The defense was spotted a 24-0 lead to begin the game. A unique situation, a challenge of the offense on Saturday afternoon. We caught up with head coach Hugh Freeze in the Flames after the ball game. Listen, the number one thing I want in our team and in our recruits is people that want to compete. And, uh, you know, this is, not, uh, this is not a system or practices that are for the weak or hard. I mean, it will, it will show who's tough, who's not. And the defense totally dominated the whole week, um, particularly ones-on-ones. -on -ones. And I think that happened today, too, for the most part. And the truth of the matter is at some point in our tenure here, the offense is going to be down like they were today or and the defense is going to be up like they were today and something's going to happen the momentum is going to shift in the game and and what we do with it from that point will matter and so that's good that we can uh, draw upon the experience today while i'm pleased with the attitude and and the effort is there um, you know we still have to elevate this mental toughness part of of how you play within a system and the responsibility you have within that on every single play. It was a fight, so we had to come back. We had to fight back, and you know that's what we did. A lot of our uh, second and third string guys, they, they came and fought and made a lot of plays, and, that, and that's what helped the first team to you know go down there and finish the drive, the game winning drive. As you can see him back there after every play, if you know somebody messes up, he's he's in your ear chirping and he's getting after you. But you know you, you got to have that type of uh, coaching mentality as as he does, and you know you get really good uh, with him, and you know he's going to teach you a lot and. Just him, he, he's an exciting player. I love, I mean, an exciting coach. I love uh, playing for him already. This spring was very physical and very competitive as far as offense defense. You know, when, in the season, you're one team playing against another, but in spring, you're split into two teams. You're playing against offense defense. And, it, and the spark really came from our threes. When threes got in the end zone first, that's when we all started picking it up after that. Uh, that, that was a great route by Sejo. He sold the, the slant really well, and then he got the safety to bite, and he just ran right past him. So it was a great route, great play call by Coach Freeze. And, uh, I was glad I was able to execute it. When I got here, I was overthrowing, underthrowing. I wasn't really confident in my deep ball, but uh, Coach Ken, Aust Coach Austin, and Coach Freeze has really worked with me with my deep ball, and it's it's paid dividends. Our guys are, are starting to buy in. I can see that to to what we want and what the expectation is, um, you know, here. So more than anything, alignment and just consistent alignments and run fits and doing your job, communication, communicating at a high level. Um, you know, were the things that I really wanted to see. So there was definitely some positives, uh, a lot of positives, but we're not a finished product. I thought we did a good job early up front. Uh, you know, I thought we had some some key pressure situations. And I, and I also think that, you know, first off, that's Coach Aldridge does a phenomenal job with our D-line. Uh, I think our D-line play has improved over the course of, of 13 practices, uh, probably more so than any other position, you know. Um, and so I thought we did a great job. I thought we did a great job with some games and, and in some of those long yard situations, but it also comes back to two, you know, um, getting them in manageable situations. You know, third and sevens, third and eights, third and nines are obviously advantageous for us, and and uh, you know we want to live in that in that realm, not not third and one to two. So, our first couple of days of spring ball, we went heavy install. After we kind of installed everything, we died it down a little bit, and we just worried about focusing on our basic packages and just focusing on all the basics and just the technique and everything, and uh, what's expected of the coaches, and uh, it just it's helped us a lot. Knowing our offense a little bit, dealing with them for our 13 practices before today, we kind of know a little bit what to expect, and we know our weaknesses just learning and watching film. So we kind of had an idea of what they wanted to do and what they would do. We're just build, still learning the defense. We're building the chemistry. We got new faces here, and we're just we're still learning. We're just ready to get better. We're just getting our calls and not remembering them, but knowing them. So it's more muscle memory than just straight knowledge. Just playing fast and physical and knowing what we're doing and uh, having each other's back. You can't fall apart on the sidelines because that's what kills teams. We have no reason to lose. I mean, if we just stay together, I mean, y'all seen the defense out there. I mean, good things will happen. We're very close-knit, and we, as you can see on the field, we're very in all the unison and all the time. It's very good, yeah.